Greek city of Alexandria created a new and advanced instrument known as the hydraulis way back in the 3rd century B.C. Alexandria was the center of learning and culture. It was home to many philosophers, scientists, and musicians. The hydraulis was the first keyboard instrument ever invented. It generated sound by using pipes and water. Each pipe led to a water source, and by pressing the keyboard buttons, the player could control the amount of water flowing through each pipe. A valve opened when a button was pressed, allowing the water to flow through the pipe and then make a sound. The length and diameter of the pipe determined the pitch of that sound, and the hydraulis was capable of producing a wide range of pitches. So Sebes, an engineer and inventor from Alexandria, was among the first to contribute to the development of the hydraulis. He made several changes to the instrument itself. He added a reservoir of valves to control the flow and pressure of the water, giving him more control over the instrument's volume and tone. He's also credited with inventing a bellows system that could be used to blow air into the pipes, thereby expanding the instrument's range of pitches and tones. Hero of Alexandria, a first century AD mathematician, engineer, and inventor, improved the hydraulis as well. Vitruvius, a Roman architect and engineer who lived in the first century BC, described how the hydraulis could be used in public buildings and theaters. And Claudius Ptolemy, a 2nd century AD mathematician, astronomer, and geographer, wrote on the rules of music theory and the construction of musical instruments, strictly pertaining to this device as well. Despite its popularity, hydraulis production ceased in the 5th century AD. In the 14th century, it was replaced by the modern water organ. The water organ, also known as the hydraulis, was popular in the 16th and 17th centuries. Water organs were common in gardens and palaces at the time. They were frequently used to entertain guests and enhance outdoor activities. The six-meter-tall water organ at Villa d'Esta in Trivoli, Italy, was powered by a beautiful waterfall. The water organ was a modernized version of the hydraulis. Through pipes, air was used instead of water to create the music, and the player could control the airflow through the pipes by pressing keys on a keyboard. The pipes were arranged in rows to produce a specific pitch range. The modern organ could produce a wide range of tones and volume levels, and it was used in cathedrals, concert halls, and orchestras, among other places. Because it did not require a constant supply of water to function, and it could be performed in a variety of locations, the modern water organ was far more portable and versatile than the hydraulis. The National Archaeological Museum of Greece currently houses the oldest surviving hydraulis. It was discovered among the ruins of Dionysus' palace in Halakamassos, now known as Bodrum, Turkey. It was most likely built around 100 AD. It's made of marble and bronze. It has two 25-key keyboards. It's unclear whether the hydraulis was actually performed or it was just an item of display. The casing of the instrument is currently on display at the National Archaeological Museum of Athens. While the hydraulis is no longer in use, despite its importance in the development of music and technology, the instrument demonstrated the intelligence and inventiveness of the ancient Greeks, and it paved the way for the organ and other keyboard instruments that we still use today. The hydraulis is a unique and intriguing musical instrument that continues to fascinate musicians and music lovers all over the world. These are Interesting Things with J.C.